Welcome to Let's Get to the Marks. And uh, this is question 15 from the Physics and Maths Tutor question pack called the amount of substance for AQA chemistry A level. So let's get into it. Use the data in the table to calculate a value for X in the formula Na2CO3X H2O. It's actually dot X, X H2O. Give your answer to two decimal places. So as always, use a highlighter and highlight what you see as the key important bits. And so pause the video and have a go at this question, and then I'll go through the walkthrough. All right, let's go. Okay, so the first thing to do is look at the table below and see that the mass of the evaporating basin and solid before heating is 25.47 grams. We want to subtract the mass of the basin, the empty basin from that to find out how much solid is in there. And we get the answer 1.12 grams. And that's the sodium carbonate dot X H2O, the hydrated sodium carbonate. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, the next step is to find out how much water was removed. So after heating for one minute, the mass went down to 24.92. So let's take 24.92 from 25.47. And the answer is 0 0.05 grams of water evaporated. Okay, so this is the equation you need to know off by heart. Mass over MR equals moles. And basically, if we take the mass of the water, 0 0.55 grams, and divide it by 18, which is the MR of water, two hydrogen and an oxygen, uh, we're going to get 0 0.0305 moles of water have been evaporated or driven off in this process. Now, we can then go over, now that we know from the first calculation we did, we know the mass of solid at the start was 1.12 grams. Take the water away, we find out that once we've evaporated the water, the solid that's left is 0 0.57 grams. So that means we have uh, 0 0.57 grams of the anhydrous or dry sodium carbonate left without any H2O, without the XH2O. So if we divide that by its MR of 106, we get 0 0.00537 moles of anhydrous Na2CO3. Okay, so now we've got two sets of moles I've circled here in pink, one for the water, one for the dry solid that's left behind once you evaporate the water. What we need to do is work out the ratio between these two sets of moles. And you do that by dividing both numbers by the smallest. So we're going to go 0 0.00537 divided by 0 0.00537. So in ratio terms, we've got one lot of sodium carbonate compared to 0 0.0305, which is the moles of water, divided by the moles of the solid sodium carbonate, and we get 5.67. So 1 to 5.67. So the amount of water compared to sodium carbonate is 5.67. So the value for X is 5.67, and that's the two decimal places. Okay, so now we have our one marker for part B, and it tells us the correct value for X is actually 10 not 5.67 that we calculated. So just the reason for the difference between the experimental value of X and the correct value. Well, you can see here from the stem of the question, they heated the sodium carbonate, X dot H2O, for one minute to remove the water. So they only heated it for one minute. Are you going to get all the water off? Well, the answer is obviously no, as the correct value is 10, and we only got 5.67. So they only got just over half the amount of water evaporated that they should. So the answer to this one is actually just, they didn't heat the water for long enough. I'm putting a bit of a long ass explanation here, which covers the next part of the question as well, which is a bit silly, but they didn't heat the water for long enough to evaporate the water. So we have an underestimation of the value for X. Um, evaporating water is also known as driving the water off, like driving it off from the solid okay and really this is a one marker so they just didn't heat for long enough now for the final part of this question it says suggest how the procedure could be improved using the same apparatus to give a more accurate value for x justify your answer so Really, this is what we just talked about in the last part of the question, very similar. So the suggestion is we need to heat it for longer because we said they didn't heat it for long enough. That will drive all of the water off. So they should heat for a longer period of time. And um, you can do that by heating it until a constant mass. What you do is you heat at regular intervals, you, you reweigh the mass. 
So basically, it'll re-measure the mass, recalculate the mass on a balance. So you keep heating it, putting the evaporating dish on a balance, then put it back on and heat it. Once you get several readings, two, three, four readings that are all the same, then you know there's no more water to come off and you have evaporated all the water. And that should get you a much more accurate answer, closer to that true value of 10 instead of 5.67. Okay. And really, I've kind of explained both here, but this is for two marks, one for the suggestion, one for the justification. So, yeah. Uh, another thing you can do, instead of heating for longer, you can just use a smaller mass of hydrated sodium carbonate, and that's going to make it quicker or easier to drive off the water and evaporate the water, because there'll be a less, a smaller mass of water to evaporate. Okay, this video was a request from Chew2000, one of the subscribers. So I hope this video helps and uh, work hard for your A-levels. Let's get to the marks. You're still here? It's over.